Hi, I'm Rob and in this Gems of War video I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this class trial in Geomancer class. It makes this class trial ridiculously, ridiculously easy. The first thing you should do is always go to the shop and grab your Potion of Enchantment. This means you grab the uh, Potion of Enchantment which means all your troops start enchanted at the start of every single battle. You also get extra troops, extra Geomancer XP, gold, class sigils and more. All are very handy indeed. Um, at tier 5 there is a weapon but don't be tempted to spend your hard earned gems getting this weapon because it is the class weapon. You will unlock this weapon automatically when you obtain 250 wins in a Geomancer class so no need to actually spend your gems to get that unless of course you go to this level automatically by playing this event and get it that way if you're going to get a load of XP anyway because it's a good way to fast jump Geomancer XP. I'm at level 100 already, but um, if you're not, if you've still got some champion talents to work on, it is a good shortcut if you have the gems to jump ahead getting those champion talents. Right, so the team for this is going to be unbelievably straightforward. We'll change it around ever so slightly after a few battles, but at first it's going to be an absolute walk in the park. The weapon in first place will be... Black Manacles or any other damage to all weapon which you've you've got which you like. So to find that just go down to the search part and put in damage to all. And all the weapons you've got which do damage to all will pop up there. So if you don't have Black Manacles then um, you can have any other one you like. It is good if it uses brown because the way Charles Adoni is going to fill up the weapon is going to be ludicrous. And you'll be able to do pretty much non-stop damage. To the enemies, so if you don't have black manacles but you have death spire for example, then actually that is not bad. It is designed for towers so that's not ideal, you might have something better than that. But if you don't have anything that's, anything else that's brown, don't worry about it, just pick something else because we can just get loads of mana with Charles on it as you'll see with this team. As the troops, we got two times Charles Adoni, let's just clear that filter there. And this is the teams we have to pick from but Charles Adoni is absolutely the way to go. She deals a damage to an enemy based on your magic level then creates three brown gems boosted by all construct allies. So this is not a times three ratio and we have all construct so there's going to be 12 brown gems literally every single turn. This is going to cause an extra turn and a load of brown literally 19 times out of 20. 95% of the time this is going to loop like crazy. You thought the goblins looped like crazy. You wait until you see her get going. Flip a neck. She is quite insane. She is technically the pathfinder. But um, don't worry about that trait. Because it's obviously not relevant in this event. But stone skin is. And also a 25% chance to summon a stone. Murphy when I die is also good. But basically it's all about a charter Donnie. Zernabog is there because it creates 10 brown gems and explodes a load of gems, but probably not going to actually use it to be honest. It is just simply there because it conjures a dust storm when my turn begins, which is brown. So literally a dust storm every single turn. The banner for this, I'm going to go for the plus two brown, plus one purple, minus one green. And we are in Geomancer class. I've got it to 100, but you should absolutely use it if you haven't. All Construct allies start with 50% mana, reduce damage from skulls by 50% and gain one life for each brown ally are all relevant and all used. In the talent trees, the main ones we're interested in are Serendipity, Anti-Magic Sphere. Ordinarily, Mana Source would be the one to pick from this, but you don't need that because we get the 50% start in the basic traits. So Tactician will have that. Gain three magic at the start is really nice. Rock Solid is important if you're a newer player to the game because with all this brown going on, we're going to get a barrier when matching brown, which means pretty much a non-stop barrier in this game. And Stone Mastery is important too. Good to get as much uh, brown as you can. You can go a Tree of Knowledge. We will actually switch the team around later on and when Charles Adoni is in first place, which we'll move her to eventually, what it means is with that plus two brown banner, a single brown match, even if it's not, a mana surge will give Charles Adoni the chance to cast absolutely right away because of her 50% start in mana. 
And the last one is Fortitude. You can have Master Builder if you so desire your choice. Right, so let's dive in. This is going to be so crazily simple. It's going to be mind-numbingly straightforward. What we'll do at the start is get brown, charge up manacles or your favoured weapon, and cast. The early troops are going to die ever so quickly. Absolute pushovers. If you can't get brown, you can grab some purple instead. See you later. And the cool thing about manacles, of course, is you get that 20% chance of a random devour at the same time, which if that happens, then happy days. I'll just do a couple of battles on this, then jump forward a small amount because this is really, really straightforward. I'll just show you what I mean about Charter Donnie quickly. She casts, you deal damage to whoever you want, take out someone that could be dangerous to you, she loops, take out someone that could have a summon, for example, like King High Forge there, and so on. We've got a constant brown storm. Never going to have any problem at all collecting brown. If you don't have two uh, Charter Donnies, chuck in a, um, a Crack Hound instead. Have we got any? No, no brown, so we'll grab purple. And finito. And if you don't have a Zonabog, chuck in an extra a Charter Donnie. You can't go wrong. It's, there's no such thing as too much brown in this team. I should have started again, actually, on a different set. Alright, I'll just do this one quickly, and then I'll uh, jump forward. Bye bye. Okay, I've jumped forward a little bit, not tons, but I'll just show how I go to go about it from now on. Very similar, but all you do is use Charter Donnie to charge up Black Manacles again. Then you cast it again. It's super, super straightforward. So we grab our Manacles, cast that. That doesn't kill all the enemies just for me. If manacles gets charged up again, you cast it again. Now we use Charles Donny to get rid of the summon. They usually repeat. We had a rare failure there, but no big deal. That's what the second Charles Donny is there for. It's a backup for when the first one rarely it doesn't get charged. And what you can do as well is just um, use Charles Donny to just take out the the opponents as and when you feel like it and she's gonna repeat not worried about Zernabog being charged there at the bottom as soon as we collect brown we get a barrier which is really cool we cast Charles Donnie now take out whoever you feel like is the most dangerous Glitterclaw is enchanted we'll pick on them that charges up black manacles again and everybody's dead Dave everybody's dead what well, spellblade yep Everybody's dead, Dave. What? Lady Ironbeard? Lady Ironbeard. What? And King Highforge? Everybody's dead, Dave. Even even Deep Bora? Dave, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. If you've not seen that episode of Red Dwarf. You're missing out. That's hilarious. Because that is what it is from, in case you're wondering if I'm going... Absolutely mental or not. But obviously it wasn't the Gems of War characters in that episode. That would be some sort of weird time travelling and uh, weird time prediction thing. Which would have been most bizarre. So this time we can use Charles Donnie to charge up the Black Manacles. Do it kind of in reverse. Cast the Manacles first. Soften everybody up. Cast Charles Donnie again. That's going to charge up Manacles. And cast Manacles again. Like I say, if you don't have Manacles or another brown weapon that does damage like that, then I'll show you what you should do in that case. So let's pretend you do not have Black Manacles. Let's say... Right, it's putting damage to all. But let's say you don't have brown... So say you only have something like this, Death's Grasp. 
what you do this time you can still do it like this you can still leave that in first place it's not going to hurt because this time any brown or yellow you get will go straight onto a child's donny and you can grab some um, purple as and when you feel like it but obviously the brown is going to mainly charge up the child the uh, child's donnies again so we can do it this way if you like we can rely on random skull hits we can just pick on one enemy at a time and just repeat and cast on each one down because what this is going to do is going to soften them up for any skull hits like just happened there and if you do get the uh, weapon charged up you're going to take out everybody in one go so you don't pick on one opponent individually with a child to Donnie that's kind of a waste because you can look at your damage to all weapons see what damage it does and a lot of the time it's going to be one hit at first which is going to take everyone out because this does 60 to all enemies obviously this won't kill everybody at first so we save death's grasp for the moment you, you can do it that way if you want do it in reverse then cast charles donny and pick on everyone one at a time We'll avoid that top one because that is a summon. They need a further bash to knock them out. And we'll just hit them twice with this. Crazy easy. Charles Adoni is so good. It is slightly ludicrous to be honest. But um, I kind of think it was designed to help lower and mid-level players. Even though it's really handy for end gamers as well to be honest. Makes it bonkers easy. It's nice to have a nice, easy troop now and again on certain colours. Especially for the uh, newer players. It shouldn't always be a monumental struggle to do things. Have a relaxing day where you can just switch your brain off and go crazy. There you go. Death's Grasp is charged. Finish them off. And this is literally going to be it. If I don't get any more sigils after this, this will be the last one. Yeah, but it makes a mockery of it, to be honest. It's amazingly easy. Super straightforward. Didn't really need to get that. Probably shouldn't have got that brown. The more brown which are there, it's better for Charles on his spell. So that was a technical mistake to get that then, like I just did. Pick on each one down. I think that first troop might survive anyway, so we'll take her out of it. And if you can get that for Death's Grasp. And there it is. Don't forget you to grab your rewards afterwards. You can grab these during the event as well, by the way. Like uh, that extra Geomancer XP may well take you up to the next champion talent level where you can unlock a new, a new skill. Always nice when that happens. But there it is. A nice, super easy team to use for this class trial in Geomancer. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, be really cool if you hit that like and subscribe button but most of all thanks for watching and i'll catch you again next time bye for now